I'd like to introduce now Dr. Robin Bell. She is the president of AGU. And Dr. Bell, thank you for joining us. My pleasure to be here talking with you. I know the main topic, convergent science. Why don't you talk about that, what it is? Well, convergent science is where scientists and the scientific community work with communities to address a question. So instead of just being basic discovery science, which we love to do and is really important, but we actually work on addressing a question by working as an interdisciplinary team and with communities. What are the questions to connect with the audience, with the community, to get people interested? Okay, one really nice example is that I work in Antarctica and Greenland, and people care about how the ice is melting. But what people really care about is what's going to happen at their shoreline, what's going to happen to their beach. So convergence science is where you take someone like me who worries about how you raise sea level, and we work with communities to understand what's going to happen in the future and how it's going to impact them. Are you seeing that connect? Is it working? Oh, we're just about to start a new project where we are actually going to Greenland and working with communities who live up close to the ice sheet. Again, trying to understand if we can better predict what their future is going to look like, but help them design the experiment with us. And at this conference here, are you seeing that? Are you seeing the lectures and the people talking about it, connecting with the convergent science? Yes, we are moving that way in AGU. We have an entire section now that's focused on geo health. You know, so how is it that the changing environment impacts people's health? Whether it's how you, what are the controls on air pollution or what's the impact on air quality from wildflower, wildflowers or maybe even wildfires. Yeah. <laughs> so Dr. Bell, you've been president of AGU for a year now. Where is AGU headed? Well, AGU is in a very special place because we're just 100 years old. So we are about to pivot to the next century of discovery and solutions-based science. So really what we're doing is saying, what have we learned in the last 100 years? 100 years ago, we didn't know how old the Earth was. We didn't know the plates moved, and we didn't know climate change. And now we know that, and we need to inject that knowledge into the future of human on this planet. True. All right. Well, Dr. Bell, thank you so much. President AGU, we appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.